In today's video, we're gonna be showing you how to change your go-kart racing axle. So let's get to it. Welcome back to the Power Public YouTube channel. Today's video, we're gonna be running you through the easy way to change your go-kart axle. Now we've got our Tony Kart 801 here. It's got a 50 millimeter axle. Now the process for the 50, the 40 and the 30 is all very similar. We're gonna remove the hubs first, loosen the brake carrier, take out the grub screws, slide the axle from the brake side across to the engine side, and then reinstall the new one from the engine side across to the brake side. So let's get to it. First thing we're gonna do is remove the wheels and hubs. If your go-kart has a chain guard, now's the time to remove that as well. Now on our demo cart, the engine's already been removed because it's been leased out. Now what you would have to do is remove your chain, so loosen off your engine mount bolts and remove the chain so we can remove the sprocket carry off the axle first. So with the chain removed from the engine, it's time to remove the sprocket carrier. Now these bolts can be pretty tight. then this should just slide off the axle. If it is a little bit tight, you can loosen these as well. Also too, you can add a little bit of spray lube. This is just RP7, WD-40, same thing. So now with a bit of lube on there and the nuts loose, still a little bit tight so what you can do here is you can get your um, big yellow screwdriver and your soft hammer oh. and you can just just split the carrier a little bit there and it slides straight off don't forget while you're at it to remove the keyway and give it a clean while you're going next up we're going to remove the grub screws on a 50 millimeter axle you'll need a four millimeter t-bar Remove all three grub screws on each bearing. I like to take them out all the way. That way I know they're fully clear and I'm not going to drop them down in the dirt. Next up we're going to loosen off the brake carrier. On the Tony car it's a 6mm Allen key and just loosen that one off there. To stop the axle rotating, I like to zip tie the brake pedal on to the front crash bar. What that does is it holds the brake disc and the hub central to the axle as you're hitting it out. Just makes the uh, removal and the reassembly of the new axle a little bit easier. If you're liking this video, please consider giving us a thumbs up. It costs you nothing, means a lot. Thanks to all the people that have subscribed, turned on the notifications, gone over to and made a donation over on the Patreon page, Signed up to Instagram and Facebook at Power Public. Thanks, it really means a lot. Now it's time to remove the axle. So now with your big yellow, you're just gonna wedge that down in there with a soft hammer. Just a couple of taps like that. Now if you've got an axle basher, insert that into the end of the axle. This one here is just a piece of aluminium. It's turned down to 50 millimeters and it's got a little spigot here. That's 45.7, so it slides inside the Tony Kart axle. And then with your soft hammer, So you can see here with the axle basher turned down to 50, it slides through the bearings and then into your bearing carrier and it holds it here when we pull the axle out. Don't forget to remove your keyway. So you can see here on the axle we've got a little bit of uh, a burr from the grub screws. So what we're going to do is get a, a flat file and just take the burr off so it slides through the bearing easily. Give that a bit of a clean off with some rag. Now just slide the axle out of the go-kart. If you don't have an axle basher, make sure you use a soft hammer. If you hit the axle with a hammer, it's gonna bruise the end of the axle, or the steel, and then you won't be able to get it out through your bearings. 
Also too, you can use a piece of timber if you like and hit it with a hammer, but try not to use steel on steel. So now it's time to reinstall the axle. Now we do remove the axle and replace the axle through the engine side. Now that's because the brake hub has the uh, axle keyway and you need to be able to get it in and out before you can get the axle out through the bearing. So if you want to go out through the brake side, you'd have to pull the axle back towards the engine, remove the keyway and then slide the axle out through the brake side. So it makes it really hard work. Always, if you can, when you're removing your axles, remove it out through the engine side and then put it back in from the engine side. When in doubt, lube. Also too, you can give your axle a tiny little bit of uh, some sort of spray lube and it'll help it slide it back in on, on it for assembly. Jiggle the axle with the bearing. Try not to force it. It is a pretty tight fit, so you just jiggle it around until it slides in. Right across to your axle basher. Also too, don't forget to put the keyway back in before you do your grub screws up. So slide the axle back, put your keyway in, and then slide it through before you put your grub screws. Now that you've got your axle into the cart, you need to make sure it's the same both sides. So measure from your bearing hanger to your end of your axle here and make sure they're the same both sides. Now it's time to reinstall the grub screws, but first add some Loctite. Line up your grub screws here, get your Loctite. Just a little dab of that on each one. Now you can cut off the zip tie holding the brakes on, remove the wedge, rotate the axle, and install the next grub screw. And it's the same for the other side. Now you can do up the brake disc hub. Now you can reinstall your sprocket carrier. First up is the keyway, of course. Reinstall the carrier. Oh, that one's on pretty good. Now obviously you want to do your chain alignment. We do have a video on this. You can check that in the description below. But uh, now's the time to realign your rear sprocket with your engine because you've had the carrier off. Now when you do take the carrier off and you're going to realign it, make sure you do your engine mount bolt, engine mount clamp bolts up first so the engine pulls down on the chassis and then you get a true reading for your sprocket alignment. Screw up your sprocket bolts if you loosen those off. Now you can reinstall your Axle keyways and your rear wheel hubs. Do up the six millimeter bolts. Sorry, the six millimeter Allen key M8 bolt. And you're good to go. So there you have it. That's the easy way to change a go kart axle. Now, this video is brought to you by Norbert Walther. He's a great customer of ours and he's also a huge supporter of our channel through our Patreon. If you don't know what that is, there's a link in the description below. Feel free to go over there and make a donation. To everyone else out there, thanks heaps to the people that have subscribed and turned on those notifications. If you find this video helpful, give us a thumbs up. It really means a lot. You can follow us on Instagram and Facebook at Power Republic. Go to our amazing website, www.powerrepublic.com.au. Grab yourself a t-shirt, a Tony Kart racing axle. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.